Hey y'all, today is Sunday and we are having steak bites. I put baked potatoes here, but I might make mashed potatoes because I used all my sour cream last night, I think. I hope everyone is having a good Sunday with your families or whoever you chose to spend it with. Today we are having steak bites. Now I am using Pioneer Woman's recipe, so if y'all wanna tag her, maybe she'll sponsor me. She really should, I've bought enough of her shit over the years. So our first step with these is we are gonna cut our steak. I'm using sirloin steak. We're gonna cut it into cubes. I guess it's more <laughs> like rectangles than cubes. And the only reason I'm even doing that is because I don't wanna flip a million pieces of meat. And if I cut them into these little rectangles, that's less meat I have to flip. So let me cut up the rest of this meat and I shall return. All right, so my steak is cut up into cubes. I'm getting my um, cast iron skillet screaming hot. I'm gonna chop up these potatoes and get them started because they will actually take longer to cook than the steak bites will. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and season up my steak bites with salt. and other stuff. These are pretty much the same seasonings I use in everything that I make, so. And then I'm just gonna drizzle just a tiny bit of olive oil just to make it all kind of bind to each other. I'm gonna go ahead and get this chopped up for my pan sauce that I'm gonna make my uh, steak bites are done. Um, I said I'm following a Pioneer Woman recipe, but I'm kind of following it loosely because she doesn't make a red wine sauce like I do. But um, everything else she does, the butter in the skillet, the searing, the bites, all that good stuff. But I like to do a little sauce because it just makes it taste a lot better. You know? It was so hot outside today. I am so glad that fall is coming. I cannot wait till it gets cooler. Maybe we'll get some snow this year. Who knows? Just gonna give these garlic cloves just a quick slice. They don't have to be finely chopped or anything like that. your fingers out of the way guys. All right, so let's get our steak bites started. We're gonna start out by melting just a little bit of butter in our cast iron skillet, which is extremely hot right now. So watch your butter, make sure it doesn't burn. I forgot to mix these around. So I'm gonna mix around my little steak bites, mix all the seasoning, make sure everything gets a little seasoning. Remember your hands are your best tools, just make sure they're clean. There we go. All right, let's get these steak bites cooked. All right, that was absolutely crazy. Let's get these steak bites in. We're gonna sprinkle them around this pan and we are not gonna mess with them. We're gonna let them get a good crust before we flip them. Be done in two batches because we do want them to get somewhat impressed on them. Now it doesn't take long for them to start getting impressed. You see how that's kind of good and brown? I mean, I don't want to mess with them too much. I do want them to get some kind of crust. Let's see how these are done on this side. For some reason, my eye on my stove is crooked, so I don't get to even cook. I need a nail part of that. Ugh. As each steak bite gets a good crust, like this one, I'm going to take it out and put it in a bowl. So, 
here is my first batch of steak bites. They're in this bowl. And then I put my second batch in. See how these are just brown. And I put some more butter in because butter mix together. These up because they're ready to come out. All right, let's get the last bit of these steak bites into the bowl and then we're gonna make our pan sauce. Turn down the temp on my skillet cast iron gets really, really hot. I'm gonna get this stuff in to cook. You know I love me some garlic and onions. Now I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth just to deglaze the pan. So I've got those brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Those are flavor. And then I'm going to add some red wine. I was adding my regular red wine, so I'm going to add some burgundy, which should work just fine. I'm also going to add a couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna bring my temp up to high and reduce this sauce by half. I'm gonna give my sauce just a little taste, see if it needs anything. Mm, it's good. And turn the fire off, I'm gonna add my steak bites back in along with all that juice that's in there. I'm gonna stir it around in the sauce and they are, and this is all done. So just wait on my taste. All right, my mashed potatoes are done, my vegetables are done. Let's pull this dinner together. All right, we're gonna plate this up now. We started off with some mashed potatoes. And then let me get my veggies. I get, uh, I did some uh, broccoli and carrots. And yes, my broccoli looks mushy because I like it mushy. It's mushy broccoli. Now, my son doesn't like it so much, but oh well, he didn't cook it. Make sure he gets a nice serving of vegetables. There we go. Now let's do our steak bites. Now for the steak bites, look at those. They are delicious. Make sure we get some of that sauce in there too. There we go. And now I'm gonna tilt my skillet and get some of this sauce out. Just put it on the top. What's the point of making sauce if you don't eat it, you know? There we go. There we go. We are all done. There we go. And my motivational quote for tonight is, it is, believing requires action, which is true. Put your dreams in action. Love y'all. Have a good Sunday.